What's up, Vision Fam? Welcome back to Tuesday Studio Sesh. I'm glad to be back with y'all. And uh, yeah, we're going to jump right in. Uh, I'm actually going to an older song that I messed with, and uh, it's called Sneaker Pimps because it was based off a uh, lo-fi trap um, beat kind of thing um, from the 90s. So yeah, here we go. So that's most of the beat, and then it repeats. Um, it's still not done, because it might be on a possible record. Uh, but I'm going to break it down for you real fast. So we'll start off with this top part, which is the main uh, gist of it. It's just this loop. And so how I did that is I went through a plugin named Expand 2, and I used a simple square bass. <laughs> Sounds like that, um, but I did the lower ones, and I played that on the keyboard, so that was pretty cool. So that's all that pretty much is. Uh, then I did a little bit of Serato sample. So I'll go into, or actually Serum. Oh, my Ableton crashed. Not great, but we're going to go back to it real fast <laughs> now we're back and so it actually wasn't Serato sample it was serum so I'm gonna open it up hopefully it pops up yep so kind of a cool sound it's like dark trap weird you know something interesting so I used that and just played a few um, notes that were in that scale and it came out something like that then we'll go down here to my little effect which is just this like fly sample I thought was dope to open up the track um, next is this expand as well and it's actually a loop so that's where the drums come from sometimes I'll make my own most of the time I do but this one was just like a funky pattern, so I was like, ooh, I dig that. And I, I tuned it with the actual key that the um, chords and stuff were in as well. So that's the drums, and then I have this like really cool hybrid key thing. Kind of makes you like think. It sounds silly alone, but it's kind of interesting. And I, I did a panning effect on there to share it so that it bounces even more. And hybrid keys, all that is, um, is just a plug-in through Contact, um, and I use Crunchy EP. That's one thing I'll, I will always show you guys what I use, because I don't have any shame in that. I know a lot of producers sometimes like to hide their like secrets, but I don't really care, because I feel like you know you got to be yourself, and uh, there's no point in hiding everything, especially if you can collaborate or do other things. So you know, I always believed in that. Anywho, um, going on, there's this detuned pad. Um, it sounds something like this. Um. It's kind of a cool drop. It changes it up from like being so hip hoppy um, to like more electronic. So that was kind of a cool twist. And so another thing I have going on, which is the last thing, is actually a little like weird sound of a screwdriver or something. Kind of crazy. Uh, along with impact and a riser. 
So that's pretty much the track. Uh, I just wanted to go over that. It's not mixed at all. And so I would usually put on a, uh, you know, like Nectar or Neutron or run it through something, Ozone maybe even when I get to the mastering process. But for overall, I just wanted to keep this really short today. I didn't want to go too in-depth. I might save that more for machine day. Uh, but yeah, this is how I'd make a beat, um, really, is just play these chords and add on um, little by little everything else to make sure they're all in the same key. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And uh, thank you guys so much. All right, peace.